about Two Crazy Craft Obsession. For those of you who don't know us, we are a small Australian business that sells craft supplies specialising in scrapbooking and paper craft. Uh, we have had a delivery which is super exciting. We've got a few parcels waiting somewhere in the country. But for now we've had a delivery of two boxes and we figured we would open it on camera so that you get to see the products as we get to see them. They will be uploaded to our store. So I will leave the link down below. One of the new additions to the store is that we're now shipping to New Zealand. Um, there's some special circumstances if you want to use that option, so check out the website. It will be linked in the description box down below. Um, let's get started. I am super excited. Cannot wait. We might start with a small one first. What have we got here? Alrighty. We've got quite a few goodies in this one. I will start with this one. I'll take one out of the packet for you guys. So, first up we've got some glossy accents. I have heard amazing things about this product. I personally haven't tried it yet, but I'm super excited to try it. It is fantastic for gluing down your wood veneer, any chunky items on your scrapbooking, as well as an all-purpose glue. It dries clear and glossy, hence the name Glossy Accents. So we've got some of that to stock in the shop now as well. So I'll put this one aside. Next item, we've got quite a few of them. I might as well get them all out of the box so that I'm not pulling them out thinking I've said them before. So that's how many we've got. Lots and lots. I've got one here to show you. This one here is the sparkle set called Tinsel Glitter and Garland Glitter. It is by Tim Holtz Distress Product, but it is a limited edition product, special, spe specially released for Christmas. I can't talk today. Um, it involves two different glitter mediums. I cannot wait to use it. Everyone knows, who knows me, loves that I love all things glitter. Uh, it's got a little bit of a um, ex explanation on the back there. Comes in a pack of two. It is limited edition, so once it sells out, we can't get it anymore. So if you want it, purchase it. It would be fantastic to add to the box shipping option. If you don't know what I'm talking about, plenty of information on that on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out. Fantastic shipping option. To complement that one, we've got even more. Let me pull them out. And that's the end of that box there, so I might as well put it away. Take no notice of my pile of goodies. To complement that one there, we've got this one here, which is the Tim Holtz Distress Texture Set for Christmas. It involves two different little tiny jars of texture paste. When I say tiny, they will last you forever, but because they're small, it means that less air can get in to dry out your product, which is what we want, right? So we've got an icicle crackle paste and a snowfall grip paste. If you haven't tried either of those before, you're going to want to get it to try it because the grip paste is amazing and the crackle paste is amazing, especially when you put some Tim Holtz crayons over the top of them. Fantastic texture for your face, for your Facebook page, for your scrapbooking pages, <laughs> and fantastic texture for any sort of mixed medium that you're doing. So we've got that one there. Again, it is a limited time only uh, item, so once it sells out, it sells out. We can't get it back. So that was all that was in that box. If you can't hear me struggling with this box, let me tell you, it is heavy. Let's crack into it. Don't think that cut through that at all. My scalpel's going a bit, a bit dull. So some of the other, so this one here is Distress and um, Ranger, we've got another Ranger on the way. We've also got some Simple Stories, some Echo Park, Coco Vanilla, American Craft. Plenty of uh, box opening videos to come. So I'll just make sure this isn't in my camera line. First up, we've got some Tim Holtz Ideology Tiny Attacher Refills. 
If you haven't got a tiny attacher, it's a staple that does little tiny staples. I have looked in Australia, couldn't find them anywhere, so we've gotten them to stock in the shop. Fantastic for attaching vellum, acetate, anything where you can see your adhesive through it, or even just anything that won't stick with adhesive. Fantastic for. So we've got some more refills for those. I will take them out. I'll bring out this product here, which I personally am super excited for. Everyone knows that I am a mixed media. Everyone knows that I am a mixed media junkie. So we have. Let me crack one open. We have the Tim Holtz Distress Maker Stains. This one here is another Christmas special. So we've got peppermint stick, frosted ju juniper and tree lot, uh, red, blue and green. These ones here, the Mika spray stain is unusual to Tim Holtz line, very different. It's kind of like a spray stain, it's a mix of colours so you won't be able to get these colours in any ink pad or anything like that, only in the spray stain. And it's got the Mika powder mixed in so it is super shimmery, super shimmery. These ones here pair with the Halloween ones I'm putting behind me because that's what they are, if you can see them. They pair with the Halloween ones to make a 12 colour palette. And he's designed it purposely this way, he's got a whole YouTube um, video on it. I will be doing swatches for the, the whole 12 colour palette, but once they sell out, they sell out. So if you want it, grab it fast. So we've got plenty of those. What else have we got in here? We might as well grab the next one of those out. Hopefully I've got one open, which I do. That one is very open, so that will have to be the demo. So, next up, look at that packaging. The rest won't be like that, I promise. But next up, we've got another Distress Mika Stain. This one here has a complementing set to the other one. Again, it's a Christmas special. There was two released for Halloween, two released for Christmas, as well as the texture paste set and the glitter set. This one here's got a pink called Winterberry. Uh, this one here's got a blue called Snow Flurries. I've got to read it off the other one because it's facing the wrong way. And this one here is called Holly Branch and it's a nice light green. Again, they're Mika, they've got the shimmer. Fantastic collection, pair with the other ones to make the 12 color set. So we've got those. As if that wasn't enough. We've got even more. I am talking quite fast because I have learnt in these videos that if you do not talk fast, you don't get all your product in. So sorry if that's annoying. We've got the Tim Holtz Tonic Studio Paper Distressor. For those of you who haven't seen it being used, it's got all these little jagged ed edges, there's a blade in there, they're small enough that you can't poke your finger in to cut itself so they're safer than using a pair of scissors and they distress the edges of your page. So you run your page through it and it ripples it up. For someone who loves a bit of texture on their page like me, fantastic tool. So we've got some of them for the shop. There's a big mess behind me but just ignore that, I'll clean it up, take a nice photo, it'll be posted on our Facebook page. Next up we've got this one here, which is the Distress Frosted Crystal by Tim Holtz. It is a um, texture kind of, I don't even know how to describe it, it is frosted crystal, that's, that's exactly how you describe it. It's a powder and you sprinkle it on a medium and you can use it for a really good chalkboard effect which he shows on one of his YouTube channels that I'll have a go at. Uh, it is fantastic for adding a bit of texture, fantastic for pretending to be snow or on top of waves to make foam. Heaps and heaps of uses, you've just got to be a bit creative with it. But it is basically you glue it down and use it like that. So I got some of that. I cannot wait to use this one either. What else have we got here? We've got the new Distress Crayon set. This one here was released with the latest colour. It's got the prize ribbon in there. I believe that one's Savage Patina and Kitsch Flamingo. They are no longer releasing Distress Crayons in a single set. You can only buy it in a set of three. So this one here is 
I believe set number 12. It's got a 12 there. I assume it means set number 12. So we've got some of those. I will show you some really cool ways to use the Distress Crayons. We've got the metallic set in the shop as well. So feel free to check that out. And now we're going to get into the fun. So, everyone loves ink pads. We know it. You guys know it. Pretty much as soon as we release a colour of ink pad in the shop, it sells out. So, if you see something that you want, make sure you get it quickly because... They are very, very popular. And we're always restocking them. We're always buying more. Uh, but we just can't keep up with demand at the moment. So if you see something, jump on, use the box shipping option and grab it as soon as you see it. So first of all, we've got Distress Oxide Frayed Burlap. So this one here is a really nice greeny gray. Uh, fantastic color as a neutral. We've got that one. Next up we've got Walnut Stain, so that's a nice brown, really good for vintage photos, getting that aged look or as a neutral. Next up we've got the really nice bright red barn door. Uh, again, they're all oxides, we are getting the Distress ink pads in, but the oxides were more popular so we went for them first. So we've got the barn door, really nice red. We have worn lipstick back in stock. This one here, I believe, was the first one to sell out. And it has been requested. So we've got that one back in stock. Uh, I think we've got this possibly on order again to come in, but it, shipping is taking so long. Grab it while it's hot. Then we've got fossilized amber back in stock as well. Pretty uh, yellow, almost like a really dark, not quite wild honey, but really dark yellow. It is beautiful. It's a really popular one as well. Then we have Antique Linen, which is a really nice uh, neutral colour, almost like a cream. We have your classic Black Soot, which is a must-have if you like stamping images on your page, if you like distressing the edges with a little bit of ink, um, colouring titles. It is a must-have and a necessity if you are into any sort of inking. And then last one that we ordered was Pumice Stone, which is a really nice grey, goes really well with Stormy Sky, uh, if you want to make more of a neutral tone page. Really good for outlining clouds and stuff like that. Fantastic for mixed media. So that's the Distress Oxide ink pads that we ordered. I think, yes. Like I said, we do have more on the way. Um, so we will be doing another unboxing once we get that order. It's not only Distress Oxide ink pads, it's other things. There's my puppy dog. It's other things as well. <laughs> I will continue the show while the puppy dog barks. Sorry about that. So next up we have some fantastic Distress Oxide sprays. What is different about the Distress Oxide sprays and the Distress Oxide ink pads is that they do different things. It's a little bit difficult to get your Distress Oxide ink pad to go through a stencil. You can definitely spray through a stencil and if you haven't seen that before, join us for our live video at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Saturday, the 9th of October, because we will be doing that technique in the live. So we'll go through the colours that we ordered. This one here is called Tea Dye. It is a Again, I'm going to say the word neutral again, but I am very big on the neutrals because they're easy to mix in with your bright colours. So tea dye is a lovely uh, light brown, really nice. We then have, where is it there, uh, the Distress Oxide Spray Stain in Stormy Sky, which is a nice bluish grey. Speaking about bluish greys, we've then got Weathered Wood, which is a nice Again, bluish grey, not quite as blue as Stormy Skies. Um, again, for some reason I'm pulling out all neutrals. There are really nice bright colours in here, like this one. So, this one here is Pine Needles. It is, very much reminds me of Christmas. It's a bluey green, kind of vibrant green colour. Then we have Festive Berries, which is a reddish pink colour. More red than pink, but it definitely doesn't sit there with your barn door. It's kind of in between. 
Then we have ripe persimmon, which is almost like a peachy colour. Um, it sits in between your orange and your bread. Kind of go orange, peach, or maybe yellow, peach, orange, ripe persimmon, red, if that gives you an idea. Then we have evergreen bough. This one has to be one of my favourite colours. Um, it is a really nice green colour, not overpowering green if you're a bit hesitant to use green on a layout. Uh, it is just a really easy colour to use, mixes really well with your blues. Then I'm going to have to switch it around, we've got scattered straw. You can see here from the video that all of the pigment is um, sitting down the bottom. It is because it's using pigment and dye, it is a suspension, so you need to mix it up if you're going to use it. I would not suggest shaking them, I would suggest rubbing them between your hands in a circular motion. Um, almost like you're trying to light file like this so that it doesn't go up the suction tube and get clogged. Just a hot tip on why it all settles to the bottom. Easy to mix up though. So this one is scattered straw. It is a really nice light yellow colour. Then we have crackling campfire which is another reddish orange. Um, it sits really well in with the orange family. We have Speckled Egg, which is another fairly newish addition. I can't wait to see the colour that he comes out with this weekend. I am hanging on the edge of my seat for it, and of course we will be ordering it. Um, so Speckled Egg is another fairly new addition to the colour family. It is a beautiful baby blue, really soft blue. Then we have Wild Honey. Again, this one here is a yellowy orange, falling more on the yellow side of things, but definitely not a true yellow. Beautiful colour. I think I've run out of the ones that are grouped in groups of three, so I'll have to grab them out. This one here is Kitsch Flamingo. This one here is also a newish colour. I think it goes Prize Ribbon, Salvage Patina, Kitsch Flamingo, Speckled Egg in the order. Um, so then, this one here is a beautiful... I wouldn't say soft pink, it's it's not a hot pink either, it's somewhere in between, but it is a gorgeous pink colour. Then we have Rustic Wilderness. So this one here is a really beautiful, almost dark green, not too dark, but dark enough to stand out in between the other greens. It is a gorgeous colour as well. I'm a little bit biased, I, I love all the colours. What have we got here? I'm missing one. There it is. So speaking of new colours, this one here is the latest release. Um, it is Prize Ribbon. It is a beautiful dark blue. Um, fantastic for going with your blues and green layouts or just blue on its own. Alrighty, full of dogs barking, technical issues today, but we will cut and make the most out of the video. So, I can see someone rolling his eyes at me. Thanks, cameraman. The next one is Chip Sapphire, which is a gorgeous navy blue. Fantastic, very different to Prize Ribbon. Prize Ribbon is a little bit more vibrant than Chip Sapphire. Then we have Tattered Rose, which is a really soft pink, uh, almost like a blush pink, like very soft, gorgeous colour. And then the lucky last one is Milled Lavender, which is a really soft purple. Almost looks pink here, but it's a really soft purple. Fantastic neutral colour as well for a lot of layouts. So that is all that we've got in the box today. We are expecting Simple Stories tomorrow, so we'll do another box opening there. Hopefully there's no technical difficulties, but we will see. Um, we've also got Echo Park coming next week, and then the week after we're expecting Coco Vanilla with the new Christmas edition. We do have a pre-order for that available on the shop if you want to check it out and make sure that you get yours and secure it. Um, and then we're expecting American Craft, another Ranger order, and I'm sure that we will splurge and buy even more. So, 
Join us Saturday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Times for our live classes. We do release a promo code for the shop for some products during that live, so make sure you don't miss out. And we will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.